Hi, Anissa Coy here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video column. And this week is our number two video in our series with um, about adjusters and dealing with adjusters. And today what we're going to talk about is building and creating a relationship, okay? This is of the utmost importance. I cannot stress this enough, okay? This, having a relationship with the adjusters that you work with absolutely paves the way for everything else to be smooth, okay? I, I promise you, it's super, super important. Now, there are some really advanced tactics that you can use, you know, like, um, you know, strategic marketing that lets you drip on them, constant contact throughout the month, you know, without being annoying, things like that, um, but, you know, understanding their needs. But today, what I want to go over with you is I just want to start with the basics. So I want to talk about a couple of the basic things. Now, you're going to think this is like, really, Anissa? But people don't think about this. Communication. I can't tell you how many people will email me or call me up and say, hey, Anissa, I'm having trouble with this adjuster. He's really upset. He doesn't want to do this on a job. Or I haven't gotten paid. And he won't process my claim through. And I ask him, well, you know, uh, when you told him you wanted to do this, what did he say? He goes, well, I didn't talk to him. I just didn't. I sent him a bill. So... The lack of communication is still astounding to me on jobs, okay, between restoration contractors and the adjuster. Now, I know that adjusters, depending on your situation, especially if you're in a cat loss, they can be very difficult to have communication with, but there's so many ways we can communicate now, okay? If you're on Xactimate, you can send notes through the claim and upload them to Exact Central so that they get that communication. There's text messaging, there's email, there's a phone call. Um, voicemail. There's a lot of ways to communicate to an adjuster. Now, I don't, I'm not telling you to call them every day and be a pain in the neck, okay? They don't have time for that and they don't want you reporting everything and making them be the restoration contractor on the job, but you need to communicate. You, they need to feel like they are on the same page with you and make sure that you understand, um, that they understand, excuse me, what's going on on the job so they understand the extent of the loss. Now, we actually do this so well in our business that the majority of the time, I could probably say 60, 65% of the time, we're adjusting our own claims now. They actually don't come out. They, they talk to me on the phone, I send photos, I upload them photographs, and we talk and, and, and do the numbers, and they don't even bother coming out, okay? So communication is vital. All right, and it's best if you can have some of that communication in writing. If you don't, because then you can save those notes in your file. If you don't and you make phone calls, then you have your note journal, phone log, just like we have. Those systems are very important to CYA down the road, okay? The second way, it's very basic, but that is very huge in building a relationship with an adjuster is becoming their solution partner. And in order to do that, you need to understand what it is that they need from you. What do they need? They have a fire and a house. They need it handled, processed, they need a bill timely, they need to set their reserve, um, they need a homeowner that's not freaking out and calling them all the time and upset. Like they need good communication between their homeowner and the contractor and then the contractor to the adjuster. So be that solution partner for them. You know, in the previous video, when I made the comment and, and mentioned that you are partners with the adjuster. Well, you are, okay? And I know there's people that will differ with me in that opinion, but I'm telling you, you are. <laughs> if you resist that, the job's gonna be way more difficult. And how can you build a relationship with an adjuster, or anybody for that matter, if you don't communicate well with them and you really don't care about what their wants and needs are? That's not a good, <laughs> that's not gonna get you very far, is it? Okay? So remember that, be their solution partner communicate with them well, all right? And if you think of it along those lines, you're gonna do really well. I hope you found this video valuable. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below or shoot me an email. I'm always happy to uh, answer questions there or get feedback from you. Uh, Anissa at firehouseeducation.com. Be sure you are a cool kid. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and be sure that you are subscribed to the e-newsletter on rnrmagonline.com. All right, on that note, Next week, we're going to do another video in the series. And this one, we are going to talk about understanding the claims process and how to get those things shot through quickly and without any hiccups. All right, so you're not going to want to miss next week's video. 
All right, thank you so much. Sorry, that's my air compressor popping on because I'm in my unit. <laughs> thank you very much for spending time with me watching the video. And uh, with that, I will see you next week.